Well, Argo. Wow. Well, just get a load of this. the ships can use the Mac lock because they're so close. I'm, I'm going to make a fairly safe guess. They're running pretty empty. <laughs> Look at how high they're sitting. The Harvest Spirit. <laughs> Good job, Argo. Whew. Kind of zipping out of here pretty quick. That's interesting. Well, we can't see underwater. Now we can't see it at all. What I would call the rudder looks to be like permanently affixed. Can we see it down here? I'm just missing something because I'm like, how the heck do they steer that thing if the rudder doesn't <laughs> move? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever realized that before. I mean, it certainly looks like they're turning. They're definitely turning. That's interesting. Well, now I have questions. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, well that was a nice little treat there. I didn't even really have time to uh, compliment Argo on his talents. <laughs> um, I didn't hear them sound their horn and they were so quiet. Like I wasn't aware of what Argo had done until we were just right over there. I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> so <laughs> then I was like, quick, let's turn this on <laughs> and check it out. So, ah, so today is the 7th of May and it's like in the low 40s. So I have like just a wee little beanie on. And I debated even putting the coat on Argo, but I would just hate for him to be 
chilled. Come on. Oh, we found something interesting there. So, but <laughs> we've seen the ship. He's had some sniffs. We're gonna keep moseying down here and finish up this walk because we know how I am if I try to talk too much before I've had my coffee. So, have a great day, Argo and I, with that ever busy nose. Well, we'll be back. See you soon.